Hey folks, my name's Squanchy. Welcome back to the showroom. Glad to have you all here. We're going to have an epic Shining Fates opening today. We're going to do a Shining Fates Pikachu V-Box, which honestly it's a shame to even open this box with how much people are going to want this box later on when they stop printing. And then we have Cramorant, aka oh, Black Betty. Cramorant. Anyway, carrying on, um, we're going to do a little couple surprising things as well. One of those is I wanted to show you this. Oh, uh, it's a snubble. I'm just letting my SB on, just kind of show myself off. Um, what do we got here? Snubble. Reckless Charge. What's up with the snubble? What do you notice about this? Build a Bear Workshop. What does that mean? Build a Bear makes Pokemon cards? Squanch, we didn't know that. What are you talking about? And I wanted to show you. Boom. I got the Snubble Build-A-Bear. Want you to see it. Everything's in the way. Don't have space to show you. But comes with a little tie, cute outfit, bows in the hair. Um, anyway, that's super exciting. I want to share it with you. Um, I got this because I want anything Pokemon right now. And I, that, I found that and I wanted to get it and I'm excited and it came with a card and I, honestly someone's got to keep Build-A-Bear back in business. Turns out when you overcharge for all of your, uh, <laughs> see I'm just, oh, open these while we open a couple shiny star V while, I, while we wait here and then we're going to go right into Shining Fates. Um, yeah, it turns out with Build-A-Bear, when, when you charge way too much uh, for your bears and you pay your employees starvation wages, You'd be surprised at how much reserves you can stack up. So Build-A-Bear is still a company, fortunately, and I'd like to support them for some reason. Uh, it's really all about Pokemon. Honestly. There's a Phalanx, and boom! Look at that. Get it started, folks. Mr. Mime. Just doing a few packs of these today, see if we can pull some baby shinies. Um, love Shining Fates, but let's be honest, there's not enough out there to open. So we're going to have to supplement that with a little bit of some other stuff. Hopefully find that chunky chunky zard. Uh, I'd love to find him in English, but honestly, I do not care what language that zard is. There's a dragapult. Also, I'm collecting all of these uh, droplet cards to make a true full set. So let me know if you need any. Let me know if you have any that I don't have. I'm still trying to pull the master set together, shiny starvy, but I'm gonna mix probably Japanese, Korean, and Chinese together. Just because, I mean, why not? There we go, Cramorant. Why did I, look at that. Look at that, that's, look at that. Lovely, we got a big, huge two factory lines though on it. Three folks, count them three. Still, I'm stoked about it. And here I am talking smack like this is Shining Fates. I'm not even at Shining Fates yet. Let's get to Shining Fates. Boom, what do we got? Pikachu, V-Box. Let's hit it. Let's hit it, folks. Let's pop this open. I'm pretty stoked about seeing if, if anyone's going to make any competitive Pikachu uh, decks. That'll be pretty exciting. Holy smokes, though, if you look close. Look at that. Can you see it? Let's see. You've got little tiny different shiny Pokemon. There's Snom there. We got, who do we got? We got the, is that a Resh? Yeah, that's the Amazing Rare. We got a Ditto. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Very subtle, very subtle, I like that. How do I gun? All right, I'm not gonna be very subtle, folks. We're just gonna tear straight into it. Here we go. Pikachu V-Box, folks. All right, Pikachu V card, whoa. Whoa, dropping packs. All right, sorry. Got the Pikachu V card. I'm gonna put this in my trusty little giant card holder. I got it on um, Amazon, I think. But yeah, I've been collecting giant cards for probably six years and haven't really had a way to keep them legitimately safe. So I'm super stoked to have these. They're double sided, they're like 10 bucks. Um, get it because there's going to be a lot of people that aren't going to have access to that folio the big one and if you do i'm thinking that it's probably only going to hold the cards that they give you i could be completely wrong 
take a quick peek at that Pikachu V. Bringing it in. There you go. We'll charge a little Thunderbolt. That's adorable. I like that. I like that. I love how it's new. I've not seen this card. They've done some reprints, folks. Okay. One, two, three, four. Shining Fates packs. Boom. Let's get right into it, folks. We've got, for some reason, three Corvies and a Tox. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We'll do the Toxy last. We'll knock out these three Corviknights, folks. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Who is your favorite shiny Pokemon and why? And also, who is your favorite just Pokemon altogether? Also, let me know, have you had a chance to get any Shining Fates? And were you able to get it at retail price? Would love to hear your thoughts. There we go. Starting it off with a Senna Scorch, folks. Some pretty mad silvering there. And a Ditto V. Regular. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Um, that's going to happen, folks. The, the thing is, finding PSA 10s of these is going to be rough. Because these folks printing have had a difficult time a difficult time keeping up with demand and even though they are probably i imagine way overworked hopefully not underpaid they are um there's no way they can keep up and when they do their best to keep up look i mean look where we're at now we've got i mean no one could get anything there we go shiny rillaboom v folks kicking it right off here Bing, boom, bam. Look at that. Looks like he's about to drop the hottest mixtape of 2021. Nice. And boom goes the dynamite. I love that. I'm out of card savers. Oh, fun fact. If you go to find card savers, people are scalping them. I don't know if they're scalping them. Maybe it's just a really, really short supply. Uh, demand's still high, so they're just jacking the price up. But I found an old post talking about, oh, I get something, something thousand of them for 60 bucks or whatever and now they're like a thousand of them would cost you about 300 bucks and i don't think since that reddit post was up that uh inflation is uh taking apart so i think there's a, sh a shortage probably due to covid due to um oh there we go decidui holy smoke shiny i don't think i pulled out a shiny star v that is fan friggin tastic folks look at that look at that look at that look at that it's nice Nice little decidui. Um, where was I? Um, shiny fade, shiny star V. I lost my train of thought. Um, but Rillaboom's dropping a, a mixtape. Um, so that's a thing that's gonna happen. I've got some shiny cards. I, the last ETB I had was crazy. I mean, technically we've gotten more out of this box than a lot of folks have. It's our last pack, some magic folks, or some Luxio. Ooh, unfortunately not rare, that's just a uh, regular. And Galarian Weezing. Okay, fun fact with this, this is a good card. This will knock your opponents, um, this will knock out their abilities. So if they got a Jirachi and they're trying to use that Jirachi stuff, nah, -uh, folks. Okay, moving on, we've got Cramorant. And if you're wondering, should mine be half plastic wrapped well if you get it from GameStop for sure um, if not I couldn't tell you but most likely okay we got one of three foil cards apparently a little fun fact the guy at the GameStop said the Boltons and the Kramerans are selling like crazy the Eldegosses are not selling hardly at all so if you're wondering which which ones you can get your hands on get whichever one you like um, if you can't get whichever one you like then I would say um, Get the ones that play the best and sell the best. Take a look at the pricing. Get the ones that sell the best. Here we go, Kramer. This was when I pre-ordered. Of course, you know, um, it's it's gonna seem obvious looking back. Captain Hindsight here. One, two, three, four, five, six packs. Legit, folks. Six actual packs. That's fantastic. This is a way better deal than the Pikachu box. Pikachu, you get four for, I think, 20. This, you get six for 25 and a guaranteed shiny. Let's take a peek at that. I'm gonna pull it right out. Lovely. It's in pretty good shape. A couple specs on it. I don't see any factory lines or anything. Looks good, sweet. I will take it, folks. 
always great to have another shiny Pokemon card, and the fact that you get it with the tin is fantastic. Go with the tins all day. Go with the tins. Trust me, folks. Trust me. Okay, shiny fates. First one coming right up. Actually, let's do real quick because you guys have been so cool. Let me do a real quick opening of shiny star V just to see, just to give us an extra chance of that chunky char, just to see that guaranteed ultra rare or better. Moving right along. Boom, there's a Lanoon. There's a Barrascuta. There's a good guy there. Frostmoth. We got a Toxtricity. All right, moving right along. Moving right along, Shiny Fates. Thing about Shiny Star V is you get an Ultra Rare at least in every pack. Shiny Fates does not do that. Does it make it better? Does it make it worse? I do not know. The um, Shiny card is in the reverse holo slot. So US Pokemon cards are, have been pretty religious several years about a reverse holo spot than a holo spot, and then they'll slide like amazing rares goes in the reverse holo. So on and so forth. There is our second hit from Shining Fates, folks. The Lapras V card, Shiny. One of the most popular Pokemon from the Kanto region. And where did I hear this? It was PTC. PTCG Radio, maybe? Ross? Possibly. Um, nobody hates nobody hates Lapras. There are, there's lots of people who, you know, ah, Lapras and then their favorite, but no one's like, nah, Lapras. People typically think of Lapras and, and have good thoughts, good feelings, good memories of Lapras just carrying them all around Cinnabar Island. There we go, Yan Mega. That's a reverse holo rare. That's nice to see. And Barbara Manaphy. Great, 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 great. Moving on, we got this Dragapult about to launch his spawn from his head. And that's the funny thing, like he launches Dreepies from his head, but like, what if he's launching Dreepies at an enemy and the reason that enemy is an enemy because they were talking smack about the Dreepies. So then is that like, do you, are you punishing? Anyway, <laughs> that shouldn't. Cut that. We're gonna cut that part directly out of here. We do a voiceover. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Here's a Barbara Manaphy again and Frostmoth. Um, that Frostmoth's a pretty good card if you're rolling a. Uh, um, there we go. Charizard. Charizard. If you're rolling a water uh, deck, that Frostmoth is a really, really good card to have. Okay, folks, just a couple left. Thanks for sticking around. Make sure to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the sweet pulls we got. What do we got? Cacnea Shanks. We got a Thwacky. Hang on to that. And Volcanion. Moving on to the Corviknight Shiny Shining Fates pack. Hopefully we have something exciting in here folks or we've already pulled a shiny out of each one we've got a kramer out of, <laughs> kramer out of the first one it's funny but that kramer at 10 has already gotten us a lapras let's see what else we got in the tin folks i mean i've pulled three shiny v cards there's a ball guy there's Yon mega this is what we call a trash back i think that was our first official trash back but there might have been more um yeah, we pulled three shiny V cards out of one ETB, legitimately, and I still have no idea how it happened, um, but I'm glad it did. And this pack is stuck, so we're going to use a bit of a knife. If you gotta use a knife, folks, be careful. Don't cut yourself. Don't cut the cards, more importantly. <laughs> I mean, a little less importantly. Don't cut yourself, basically. All right. Moving forward, we've got the very last pack of the day. What have we got, folks? Thwacky, Ball Guy. We've got Tropius, Choodle, Nicket, Grookey, Yanma, Morpeko, Mr. Rhyme. That's our. <laughs> we just pulled that also out of uh, Shiny Star V. Mr. Rhyme, Shiny Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Look at him. Look at him. Not much to play with in terms of competitively, but definitely a cool card. Definitely good to see a Galarian form of something. 
Um, let's do one more for good measure, folks. I really want that Charizard, and I don't care what flavor he's in. I don't care what pack he's in. I'm getting him. We've got a Milky a Stadium. We've got, what was that? That's, uh, I missed a couple. I didn't, I didn't get that one. We got Frostmoth and Indeedee. Uh, and, and there we go. Shiny. What's that? Gossifleur? Fantastic, folks. That's a great way to end the video. Thank you so much. I've got plenty more Shiny Fades. I'm going to do some more openings. I hope you'll stick around. Check it out. Um, I've also got Chinese Shiny Star V or Chinese Star V, if you will. Um, and, of course, as you may know, possibly I've got some damage volt tackle boxes so i've got to open those up for sure i hope you guys will join me but hey thanks so much for coming to the showroom and this has been squanchy i love you guys take care